Hello students now we are going to start our new chapter 17 time so as you know students time is most important thing right and time doesn't wait for anyone so time is so precious so use it without wasting so now students to represent time we know different different units like hours minutes seconds days years centuries right so they these words are connected to each other so let us revise that so one day is equal to 24 hours one hour is equal to 60 minutes one minute is equal to 60 seconds one year is equal to 12 months one century is equal to 100 years one month is equal to 4 weeks one month is equal to 30 days also one week is equal to 7 days one year is equal to 365 days and one leap year is equal to 366 days because in a leap year february month has 29 days right so that is why one leap year is equal to 366 days i hope you understood it now students let us solve exercise 1 do you remember so these are the things we have already learned let us revise it fill in the blanks so most of the clocks have blank hands so the answer will be 3 and which three hands are there blank blank and blank so first is our hand second will be minute hand and third will be second hand so see three hands are there in a most of the clocks now second the our hand completes blank rounds in a day so the our hand completes two rounds in a day and how it is possible let us see look at the clock starting from 12 12 midnight to 12 noon then 12 noon to 12 midnight in this way the our hand completes two round in a day okay now third blank the minute hand completes one round in one hour the minute hand completes one round in one hour fourth the seconds hand completes one round in one minute okay now fifth the months january then blank then may then blank 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 and december have 31 days so students you have to write down here months which has 31 days okay now after january which month comes with 31 days because february has 28 or 29 days so february after comes march april has 30 then may june no then next will be july august yes july and august both months have 31 days august after september it has 30 september after october then november has 31 right so december have 31 days so this are the months which have 31 days next six blank the months blank june blank and blank have 30 days now students you have to write down months with 30 days so first will be april then june after which month come with 30 days september and november so these are the months with 30 days 
नेक्स्ट सेवन इन अ लीप ईयर फेब्रुआरी हैज ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज ओके सो इन दिस वे यू हैव टू सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज वन थैंक्स